Hey YouTube, what is up? So let's just jump right into it. This is Pokemon the Series XY opening analyzation. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick video analyzing what I saw in the opening, what I think needs to be talked about, and yeah, so let's get started. So right here we got a puff of smoke. Um, yeah, there's nothing really more to say about it. It's just right in the beginning I caught this, so I thought I might as well put it in. So right off the bat, we already got the crew. We got Serena, Ash, Bonnie, and Quamont. I like these guys better, and well, I like his male counterpart better because he is actually like 10 and not 17 or 18 like Silent or Brock appeared to be. I mean, I don't know. We don't know their exact age, but they appear to be a lot older than the other counterparts. And I like Serena because she's not like Iris, and Iris is gone, so. And then we got a fourth counterpart again, so I like that too. So then we have Ash right here. He's feeding Pikachu a sandwich or something. I, I thought there was some special Pokemon food, but I don't know. Maybe that all changes. Everything changes in Kalos. That's it. That's it. So we have to be what appears to be May of Kalos. I mean, Firestarter likes fashion and stuff. I mean, then they have a fourth littler um, sibling. One of them does. I mean, Serena obviously doesn't, but I'm seeing a lot of Hoenn resemblance here because it just seems too it seems too much alike to me but i like that because i like hoenn and if Kalos wasn't now my favorite i'd say this is amazing so as we expected we can see serena got fennekin um clement got chest pin which is bonnie's chasing around right here with the den and ash got froki so right here this shows them playing and then clement's working on something with bonnie running around in the background obviously so Looks like Clement's trying to, I don't know, he's creating a new invention, it looks like. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, having him as an inventor, not like a Pokemon connoisseur or cook or whatever. And then we see him blowing up right here, because he failed and um, Bonnie caught that chest pin. That's, that's nice, I guess. Team Rocket and the Notorious Wobbuffet returns as they fall out of their hot air balloon, I guess. Wow. Still failures. So this is Pikachu using Quick Attack, which we already knew about, and later it'll show him using Electro Ball, which we already knew about. So no new moves yet, I guess. I... So now here we see um, Chespin using Pin Missile, which he can't normally learn until level 18, but it evolves into Collated at level 16. So I guess this is saying that they're not going to be evolving their Pokemon, or at least Clement won't be, because. I don't know why, I mean, I guess they just want to have it as a low form, or, or maybe it's harder to evolve in the anime, maybe, maybe Ash has done all he can. Try better next time. So when I first saw this, I'm like, what is that? It's, it's like a spinning, spinning thing, you know, it's Bunnelby, I figured that out after like looking at it for like a second. Um, so I think this may be Serena's because it makes sense, because Clement will have Chespin and... Deden, Ash will have Froakie and Pikachu, then Serena will have Fennekin and Bunnelby, so I'm gonna assume this is gonna be Serena, so they'll all start off with a good two Pokemon, hopefully. So this is Deden not using Thunderbolt, but I think it's Thunder Shock actually, because it just doesn't look as powerful as a Thunderbolt would be, so that's pretty cool. I also noticed that um, this is the third time that one of Ash's counterparts, not always the female, but sometimes, has the a little electric rat of the region, like Petrisu, Omolga, and Den. so this is the third time. So, I just wanted to point that out, I don't know if that means anything. So we got Fennekin here using what looks to be his Ember, because I don't think there's anything stronger that it could learn before, like, the end of the first season. And right here, this almost looks like to be Water Shuriken, but I don't think it is because I don't, Froakie can't actually learn that. So I think it might be Water Gun, but I don't know. So this makes me rethink that Serena has Bunnelby. I think Serena will have Fennekin and Fleshling, and Bunnelby may be Clemence. I don't think Ash will get Bunnelby, though. So as I mentioned earlier, this is Pikachu, still using Electro Ball. Nothing new. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this. Why does this appear again? I don't know. No, I do know. Because I thought to myself after that, after I recorded that, maybe, I mean, Ash always has 
the element, the, um, the bird of the region. So I don't, I don't know why this would be any different. So maybe it's a different Fletchling than Serena's, and I maybe Ash has the Fletchling, and then Clement has Deden, and Serena will have Bumblebee after all. I don't know. I guess it's like that. This right here just told me everything major that was going to happen in the region. This one second of Mega Evolution Sign just it indicated everything to me. Gave me. It gave me so many ideas. Charizard will evolve into Mega Charizard Y, maybe. Maybe May will return with her Blaziken somehow to like meet up or something. Maybe Iris will have a Mega Evolution Dragon Pokemon. It looks like she'll catch a Garchomp. I, I'm not quite sure. This just told me so many things. Maybe... Iris will get like a Charizard in return with that or return with an Ampharos. Um, but and this this also could indicate that what the second movie of Kalos is, season 18's movie is going to be Mega Evolution, if not season 17. I know season 17 is supposed to be based on Xerneas and Eveltal, mainly Eveltal, because it's called Cocoon of Destruction, but I'm assuming that they're gonna have Mega Evolution in there somewhere because it showcases Mega Evolution, so. This is where Mewtwo comes into play. I don't. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a third Mewtwo or just a, two Mewtwo's. I'm not sure. But Mewtwo, I'm pretty sure will return. One of the Mewtwo's, either the one showcased in the Ganesec movie or the one from the earlier seasons, will return. I am thinking they're probably gonna bring back the earlier seasons one, possibly because they still have Mega Mewtwo X. So I'm assuming there's gonna be some sort of like fight, maybe, with Mega Evolution X and Mega Evolution Y. I don't know. It's just my speculation, my thinking, but this is a huge, this brings out a lot of possibilities and a lot of ideas and this sign right here just completely dominated and just brought out all of the ideas, so this sign has something to do with one of the movies or something big that's going to happen during this anime, most likely not this season, or maybe this season, um, maybe Ash will evolve into Mega Charge. yeah, I already said that, so... I don't know. It's just a world of possibilities for this one picture. This one second basically opens so many doors in this. So this looks like the company is in Aquacord Town, right next to one of the shops out there. So that's what this video. This video. That's what this clip looks like. I threw this in here because it showcases some sweet Swana in the background. No, um, it has vi this has Vivlion. This is elegant Vivlion, which is native to Japan. So I guess that's why they put it in here because you know it originated in Japan they can't exactly change the animation for America but I thought that was cool a little tidbit of information so right here we got some underwater Pokemon looks like Love Disc, Octillery, Mantine, um whatever I guess just some underwater Pokemon so that's cool there's those Swana again wow now this is um Pokemon in the meadow looks like almost looks like that meadow from the Sinnoh version so now we're back with the water, um, looks like some people throwing stuff into the water, the glow pad, magic arc, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, look in the background. Yeah, look in the background and call me crazy. Um, you're gonna say it looks like two Oshawats, but I'm gonna say it looks like a Fennekin and an Oshawott. If you think about it, that actually very well could be a Fennekin and an Oshawott. So, I'm guessing Ash's Oshawott will be making a return with Serena's Fennekin. Um, I don't know, that's just what it looks like there, and it looks like they're gonna be good friends and stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, this is Pokemon the series logo. So we got a Pidgey. So see you guys later. Comment, rate, and subscribe.